Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Friday, good start to the weekend, nice and sunny out. Had a storm last night, and it wasn't that bad where we were. Lots of lightning, it's a nice flashy show. It rained, but that was about it. Anyways, today's the day we put the horses together and see what happens. So I'm not sure, I have to open up all the gates first and then I'm going to let them all out and see what happens and I'm not sure if I should take down the electric fence first. Take apart the fencing, I'm going to have to take out all the poles too. Yeah, that was like a kind of a waste of time putting up the poles, but I mean, that's it's only temporary anyways. And they'll all be out in this field together. All right, so I'm gonna open up this gate. All right, so now that gate's open, Gracie. So really, it's like an obstacle course. You can go, it's like a running track. You can go through there, around, in there, down here, through here, in there, and eventually in that field, so. I'm just gonna let all these horses out and we'll see how it goes. Hand upon your heart, every beat is taking me over. And I will hold you in my arms. Pretend we'll stay here forever. Time changes everything, and everything will change in time. There you're with Penny again. I'm gonna go in and hook that fence up. Um, we'll see what happens. Well, Penny's here. Storm is over in the new field. The horse is on his way to the new field. Nope. This horse just wants to be with Penny. Absolutely nothing. Nothing's going on here, so. All the other horses are down there. Man, I don't know, should I just keep this up? Now I'm going to have to take it apart. I'm going to leave this pole and this just so if I have to put this here again then then I have it but I'm going to have to take all the poles out and take out this fencing. I have to get the tractor out here to pull up these poles but we'll see. It rained last night so they might come out easy. Penny just showed up. <laughs> this horse wants to get there and Penny just Show it up. Looks like Lady figured out. Yeah, rolling away. Rolling away. I'm not one to rush them all in together. Like normally people would just put them all together and wait a half hour and see what happens. But I like to take my time. And I know Laura likes to take her time. And introduce them slowly. Uh, because Storm is actually an idiot. <laughs> he doesn't, uh, doesn't like new horses right away. Good up, morning guys and welcome to today's video. <laughs> Hi baby! Good morning and welcome to today. Today is Friday. I'm so excited for this weekend. We have so many plans this weekend. I spend a lot, we spend a lot of time on our farm because there's so it's much it's to do. It's what? I it was you said it was Thursday? Yeah. Anyway, we will be spending, oh no. Don't grab her. Her head. <laughs> grab her. Open. We are, we have a lot of plans. I'm super excited. One of them may or may not involve a horse show. Look at, she's saying, Mama, give me my bottle. Feed her at night. I know, Sophie feeds her at night and I feed her in the morning. Well, actually, Sophie feeds night. her in the morning usually too. Actually, yeah. Sophie feeds her twice a day and I feed her lunch. We should get out of the sun, maybe. Yeah, come in here. She is pretty stinking cute, though. 
Ever since Tilly lost her family, she's mellowed out so much. So she had uh, two sets of babies. We uh, sold all of them, every single baby that she had, and she's mellowed out so much. It makes me wonder if she felt so much need to protect them. The mean goat on the farm now is little Miss Blossom, Sophie's beloved Blossom. She's the mean girl. Sophie says, too bad because she's never leaving. Isn't she so cute though? I love a black goat with blue eyes and white. I'm hoping, I know it's not about looks, but looks is what makes it fun. I'm hoping to get a black and white. I'm hoping to get a black goat that's pulled with blue eyes. That's a girl that has extensive white overlay. So that has like a white pole and then has tons of white on it. So she looks like a little black cow with blue eyes. With our luck, we're getting all boys. Yeah, with our luck, we're getting all boys, Sophie says. Hope for all boys, and we'll get all girls. Yeah, we got to hope we're for all, all we're boys. All girls, so we got all boys. I'm not going to lie. Having all boys was fine, too. Like, it, it wasn't a big deal. It just meant that I had to buy the girls that I wanted anyways, and it worked out better. Especially because our genetics, we didn't have uh, registered goats. We didn't have registered goats, so it turned out better to get new genes for our gene pool to go out there and buy new goats. So if we get all boys again, I'm happy with that. But I really want to just have one baby that we raised from birth <laughs> and see what it's like. I mean, we have Winston. We'll always have Winston. First baby born. First baby born here. Sophie and I are still down here all the time getting all of our goat cuddles in. It's literally like the nicest place on the on the farm. That little thing. I've done so much for her. I give her so many bottles. I bottle feed her. I make sure that she has everything that she needs. And she still likes Sophie better. Like, I'm the one that picked her up. Brought her home. I'm the one that took care of her. I don't even know. Sophie's like... Gabby and Sophie go for walks at night all the time now. So it's me a lot of the time down here before Sophie gets back. And... Yep, she likes Sophie best. But this one, this one likes Sophie too. But she also really likes me. She's always near me. Those two just really like the food. <laughs> Unfortunately, it can't all be fun and games on the farm. It might seem to you guys that it's been a while since we did our goat's feet. And it's true. It has been. So today is the day that we're going to trim them all. But before we do that, we're going to do a little check-in on our... Okay, the New the show. resident baby birds. Unfortunately, they're making a huge mess in the barn, and I'm gonna just wait and clean it once the babies this fly the nest. Oh, well, Sophie will send me pictures. Send me those pictures, Sophie. There are five baby birds in the nest in the barn here. Somebody knows the assignment. Just like that, we're done. <laughs> it was a lot, you guys. I don't know how good the footage was, but Sam's away and Sophie and I here drilling on the other side of the barn. So we're gonna go and investigate. I also noticed that little Miss Piggy that is, is away. Can you guys hear it? The heck is that? Look, you guys. Today was the day that Sam put the horses together. Where is he? I see Gracie over there in the shelter, and I see Penny with Lady. What the heck were you doing in there? They all just came out of the shelter. What were you doing in there? Clean it. That's surprising. Clean the trailer. What was, what was drilling? The TV stand I was taking off. Oh. Uh, this morning I said to Sam, put all the horses together and he gave me a million reasons why we shouldn't put them together but we've done everything right we've done it like the the right way where we prolonged them meeting each other we did a lot of it over the fence and we did it like small groups at a time so that everybody could get used to each other i knew they were ready today like i knew today was the day that they were going to be ready and they are you guys they're ready 
We need to get all these poles out of the ground now. But maybe Sam's leaving them up for, for a reason. In case we need to like, get another horse. <laughs> Just joking. But the most exciting thing ever is that they kind of got to choose their own little herds. So these four are all together. And then over here is Penny and her bestie. Penny doesn't like anybody to stand near her. Isn't that amazing? Like that makes me so happy that Penny has a friend. I felt like they would be friends. One of the hardest things in life is when you're different than other people and not everybody understands you. A perfect example of that is like if you're neurodivergent. You're just a little bit different, but nobody understands because more people are neurotypical. Woo! Okay. And that's like Penny. Penny doesn't like other horses being near her. She has reasons for it. It's not that she just decided one day, I don't want any other horses to be near me. She's had bad experiences in her past. You can see it. And so many of the things that she did when we first got her, how like she would freak out if horses came up behind her. The fact that she used to be a million miles ahead of everybody on the trail tells me that there's a reason she doesn't want horses behind her. There's things that have happened to her. So the fact that she loves Lady and her and Lady are getting along so well and that they want to be together means so much to me. Do you guys remember when we had Gracie and she didn't have a friend? Nobody liked her in our herd. And when you're left out, it can be like more painful than being bullied. All I wanted, ever wanted, was for Gracie to have a friend. And now Gracie had a, has a baby and she had a friend and, and she felt, you could see the difference in her, how confident she was and how happy she was when she found a friend, when she had the baby as her friend. And now Penny has a friend. And that's amazing to me. Like, I could cry over it. And also, it means that Sophie and I are gonna get to go on lots of trail rides because our horses like each other. Come on, Ellie. Somehow, this porch got to be a huge mess. And next week is summer. So that means I definitely want to get this porch all situated for summer. I had this blanket out here all winter. I love it. Maybe I should take it in and wash it. It's got spider webs on it, but I love this blanket. It's so soft and so amazing. You guys remember when we, we put this all together last year? It took me forever to figure out how I wanted it to look. And then I had to message a friend to help me. The only thing I don't like about this set is the white. I don't know if I can buy more covers for this stuff. I need to trim back all these bushes. I did that last year. And actually, I think I'm gonna take this blanket and throw it over here so that I can use it. This is my favorite spot to sit. I love it because the front of our property has all these bushes so most people can't really see onto the porch when they're driving by. But I really wanna utilize this front porch again. This is our old coffee table. I put it out here. I think I'm gonna put it, I might try putting it in the middle there. I think it might be too big. But I'm excited. I'm excited for parties out here with friends. I'm really gonna look up and see if I can find replacement covers for these because these are worn. So if I feel like if I wash them, they'll just tear. Comment below what you're most excited for this summer. I'm excited for horse shows for Lady and Sophie to come along and so I can see what they can do. And I'm really excited for a lot of trail rides. I want to go places to do trail rides. What what are you most excited about for summer? Um You want to sit here, don't you, and relax. Don't know what I want to do. I'm excited to uh get a tractor and make an arena. Oh yeah, that's one thing that we still have to do on our list. Get a tractor. Don't you know that you're beautiful?